Hello there, beautiful humans, and welcome to the video. I'm at an elementary school. Uh, I'm not sure how much time I'm going to get to detect before it rains, but um, I'm going to give it a bit of a try. I'm going to look around at least and see what this offers. I saw on the way in there were some basketball hoops and, uh, and such, so there should be something interesting around the margins of those. A, because it's an elementary school, I'm hoping that there is a sandbox or something, because the ground is really dry and hard to dig. And I don't want to leave ugly plugs. So let's see what I can find. I'll meet up with you at the first plug. My first treasure I didn't even have to dig for. This little guy was just lying on, this, on the, the pavement. Hello, can I come out with you? Yes, you may. And you can be a proud member of the Sanctuary for Abandoned Toys. Yay! I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> Provided there are some targets in here, this is a digger's dream. I've got a nice sandbox, and up there I've got a little tot lot. I won't need to dig in the in the grass at all. Let's get to it. This is a good way to start. 2019 Looney. I'm using my old pro pointer today and now it's pouring rain but this is water resistant it's mild I'm just gonna stay for as long as it takes I, I don't mind getting a little wet I'm also using my simplex today just for fun I don't know what this is but it was down a foot this is a nice deep sandbox the funny thing is it was ringing up 95 like silver or aluminum and it's iron Weird. The sandbox was really quiet. Uh, there was that one loony and that piece of iron. Um, so yeah, and the soil is much too dry to dig ethically. So I'm here at the little playground as part of the school and it has sand, so that'll be easy to dig. I'll check back with you with the first plug here. <laughs> this was a sweet, tight signal the numbers were bouncing a bit in this Y. It's a bottle cap. Moving on. This is either the top of a two-part button or it's the top of a badge. I couldn't find the rest of it, so there you go. My first target that isn't a bottle cap or a pull tab is this battery. Huh. Well, I'm glad to get that out of the sand. Here's my first copper penny of the day. It's a 1991 and it looks like it's in very nice condition. Thank you. Oh, I just got the queen's face wet. <laughs> it's raining a little bit. This was a really, really loud 75 on the simplex. Like a beep, 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 beep. Okay, I'll take it. Here's another copper penny. This one's 1993. There are really nice, loud uh, mid to high 70s the copper pennies are on the simplex. So they're about 10 points higher than they are on the Fisher F44. I'm getting used to that. This makes it all worthwhile. Look at the size of this truck. It's lost its back axle, but I found it. It's just missing one wheel. So I'm going to sift through all this sand here and see if I can find that wheel. What is this though? I can't really see. It's getting kind of dark and overcast. I think I'll have to wait till I get home. This has a bit of age on it though, I think. Although the bottom is plastic. Mm, I can't read it. <laughs> oh my goodness, I love it! How fabulous is that? I'm not going to unpack it. Plugmaster Ford says, do not unpack the wheels in the field. So I'm going to carefully put this in my pouch and see if I can find the other tire. <laughs> I'm happy. As you can imagine, this 2013 quarter sounded like heck. It was ringing 444, four, four, but there was a little blip. You know, low tone, low tone, low tone, blip. So I dug it and it's clean. I'll take that any day. 
This sounded just like that Canadian Quarter and also like the piece of twisted wire I found afterward. And it has no right to because it's a Canadian dime from the 80s. I think. Or the 70s. Is that 1974? Wow, what's that doing ringing down at a low tone? Let me put it under the coil and see what it reads on the surface. Anywhere from 66 to 91. I'll never understand it. Anyway, I'm glad to have a dime. Well, it's part of a frying pan. It's metal, <laughs> but I'm not going to take it. That's the surface find I'm leaving behind. Maybe somebody fills it with water for their dog or something. Look at the roots on this giant tree. This is a leftover, I think, from when this might have been farmland. And at its roots, I found an old school beaver tail pull tab. I'm going to have to come back here when the soil is good and wet and have a really good slow look around. I should have left the big tree for another time because I just got caught in a downpour. <laughs> so it's time to go home. The street lights have come on and uh, you know that's when that's when kids are supposed to stop playing. <laughs> so I'm gonna go home and get dried off and have a drink of water and check out my finds. So I'll see you at the wrap up. Welcome back, beautiful humans, to the roundup of my hunt at the elementary school. The school was built in 1968, so I wasn't really expecting to find silver and I didn't find any, but I did find some interesting stuff. I only dug around the sandbox and the children's playground because the ground was so dry that to dig it would harm the grass. On top, I found lots of straws. <laughs> there were straws galore, wrappers, the top of a cold drink cup, uh, plastic bottle caps. This looks to me like the top of an old film canister for the 38 millimeter, 35 millimeter film stock. <laughs> That's a blast from the past. Battery, foil, some pull tabs, top of an aluminum can, the bottom of a steel can, back when pop came in steel cans. An aluminum bottle top from wine or something. This big triangular thing, I don't think it has anything to do with a plow. It's not sturdy enough. I, I really don't know what that might be. Some bottle caps. Yeah, nothing particularly special. Lots of wire. Lots of wire in the playground, which kind of disturbs me. Folded over a piece of galvanized metal. Strapping off a, I don't know, what would that be? Off a, an eaves trough, maybe? And a zipper pull. Pretty blue zipper pull. More interesting things. Well, I found a Merry Christmas that came off a garland of some kind, an old school beaver tail pull tab, the the pencil end that makes it a legitimate school hunt, 
this isn't ferrous. It's either brass or copper. I think it might be copper. It's the top of a two-piece button, maybe, or the top of a badge. Don't know. And a little bitty tag of clothes, I guess. It's just about ready to split in two. It's very thin, nothing special. On the surface, I found my little buddy, the finger puppet. I'm going to go into the sanctuary for abandoned toys. That's right, he can be friends with... It's a monkey. He can be friends with the... Uh, the giraffe and the rhinoceros and the little dinosaur. <laughs> I found some coins, a 2013 dime which is nice and clean. A 2018 Looney, which is perfectly spendable. Uh, a 1974 Dime, which has certainly lost its luster, but it's clean and crisp. Glad to have that. And two copper pennies, 1991 and 1993. But the star dig was this wonderful truck. Look at the size of it. And there's a little driver in there, see, through the window. Now, unfortunately, I was not able to find the fourth tire because there's no metal left on it. So this poor truck has certainly come afoul of the lawnmower. You can see the hacks and slashes on it. And the bottom is all broken up. But on the bottom, I determined that it said Ertel, Dyersville, DC Comics, and I think it says 1989. I can't tell for sure the last number is really badly scraped. But Ertel, apparently, is a well-known producer of die-cast cars from Ertel, darn it, is it Ohio or Iowa? I think it's Iowa. And apparently they had the, the DC Comics uh, syndicate. So I'm not sure what character drove, a, looks like a mail van or something, delivery van of some sort. Anyway, I'm glad to have that. That can join all the other cars in my hubby's wrecking yard. He has a shelf in his office that I call the wrecker's yard. So it's always a good day when I dig some toys and some coins. And when someone wishes me a Merry Christmas in June. <laughs> Thanks for coming along on my most recent hunt, and I hope to see you again very soon. Till then, here's Auntie waving goodbye. Goodbye! Toodaloo.